faces the same challenges as a major league batter facing a pitcher bringing the heat. Except that hockey's fastballs can come from anywhere. Any distance, any angle. The best goalies are often described as having cat-like reflexes. We know cats are quick, but can humans really react as quickly as cats? Who's got quicker reaction times? A hockey goalie or a cat? To find out if goalies can really have cat-like reflexes, we hit the ice with one of the NHL's best, Olaf Kolzig. This NHL veteran has stopped tens of thousands of pucks over his all-star career. Cleared in off the glass, support O'Neill is there, and Kolzig comes up big. Being 6'3", 225 with the equipment I have on, forward's got to make a pretty good shot to beat me. Being back here on the goal line really gives them a whole lot more net to shoot at. My reactions have got to be that much quicker and that much more precise. And firing the pucks is one of the NHL's newest superstars, Alexander Ovechkin. This Rookie of the Year and All-Star will do whatever it takes to get the puck in the net. Into the open side, that is great stuff. The Phantom high-speed camera will break down this showdown to the thousandth of a second. This will allow us to determine if it's possible for a human to actually have cat-like reflexes. We know cats are fast. Cheetahs can get from zero to 65 miles an hour in three seconds. But we're talking about quickness, reaction time, and cats are amazingly quick. A cat can react in a blistering one-tenth of a second. Can a hockey goalie move that quickly? from 25 feet, this puck reached a speed of 81 miles per hour. It's an amazing save, but was it as fast as a cat? For a deeper look at a goalie's reaction time, our motion capture system goes under the heavy pads and cool masks. only in 22 hundredths of a second. It took 11 hundredths of a second for his brain to locate the flying puck. But to make this glove safe, our goalie's blazing fast movements didn't originate with a message from the brain. Some movements are cat-like quick because they aren't reactions. They're actually reflexes. A reflex is initiated by a message that gets fast-tracked by the brain to the spinal cord, where the messages to move originate. Some reflexes are automatic and involuntary, and some, like moving a glove a foot into position, can be learned with practice. Only moved his glove into position in an amazing one-tenth of a second. Which means that, in fact, Oli has reflexes as fast as a cat. Whether it's a goalie's superb reactions or cat-like reflexes, the bottom line is, the puck stops here, and here, and here. In the National Hockey League, no player faces more pressure than the goaltender. 
One of the best in the business is Pekka Rene of the Nashville Predators. His cat-like reflexes allow him to quickly react to the puck. The better it is when, when you don't think about anything, you just uh, read and react. Rene first anticipates where the shot is going to go by shifting his weight and moving into position. The shifting of weight activates something called a reflex, an unconscious muscle response to a stimulus, meaning it does not involve the brain. Rene literally reacts to the shot without consciously thinking. Receptors at the end of the sensory neurons fire an impulse that travels at speeds exceeding 225 miles per hour. This impulse moves down something called the sensory afferent pathway, a chain of nerve structures that transmits the nerve impulse toward Rene's central nervous system. This is where we have one of the body's natural resources that come into play, which is the reflex arc. Think of the reflex arc as a shortcut en route to a final destination. The impulse is rerouted through the reflex arc to the spinal cord to be processed instead of going all the way up to the brain. The best goalies have reflexes as fast as one-tenth of a second. For the players who must face outstanding NHL goalies like Pekka Rene, more often than not, they're caught on the short end of the stick. For a goaltender, looking at the puck as a player shoots seems fairly obvious. Research at the University of Calgary has shown that goaltenders directed about 70% of their fixations to the puck as a player is going through the shooting motion. What is not so obvious is that the amount of time a goaltender spends focusing on the puck can be the difference between making a save and getting scored on. Studies show that when goaltenders successfully made a save, their final fixation on the puck started sooner and it was about 125 milliseconds, or an eighth of a second, longer than when they got scored on. It may not seem like a long time, but when the puck's flight is only around 200 milliseconds, this last good look at the puck, or quiet eye period, seems to be a crucial indicator of success. A quiet eye period that starts early and has a long duration allows the goaltender to mentally predict where the puck will be going and plan the actions necessary to make the stop. It might also allow them to physically ready themselves for the explosive movements necessary to stop a three-inch disc of vulcanized rubber that can travel at speeds around 90 miles per hour.